Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be doing uh, an unboxing of the uh, famous Furutech uh, carbon fiber kind of a 4.4mm jack. Okay, I just purchased this from uh, Music Century from Singapore. Um, yeah, together with some other items. Okay, this one is the, I think it's currently the most expensive uh, jack, uh, audio jack Furutech uh, CF7445. R okay and another one really interesting one is the liquid links okay this also is a 4.4 millimeter jack now this one is made in Japan I mean both are both are made in Japan just that liquid links the brand itself is from China and all the stuff the cable everything is made in Japan you can see made in Japan 4.4 millimeter TRRRS okay and this one is the famous and very popular Furu Tech, uh, 4.4 mm same T R R R S balance connector. And you can see the box itself. Um, I purchased this. Uh, this one is 75 same dollar, or roughly around 240 ringgit, or USD maybe is around 60 USD. I guess around 60 USD. Uh, this one is slightly cheaper, therefore I will purchase both. Okay. Uh, we'll be doing an, an unboxing of the liquid link first, then only followed by the uh, full tech 4.4mm uh, jack. This one is around, if not mistaken, uh, purchase it via my China friend. Uh, including shipment is around maybe 140 to 150 ringgit Malaysia. That is around, uh, say, how many USD? Let me divide by 4. Should be um around 35 to 40 usd for one yeah around the price this guy but in terms of design i will choose this one okay let me just unbox uh, this liquid links first um this liquid link jack uh, there are two colors with it uh, however i only purchased the silver one so it comes in a bag like this of course with a lot of protection uh, bubble wrap etc uh, this one is just the plastic uh, uh, box, you know, if you want to consider this as a box. So, it comes separately with the internal so ready to be soldered part. This one, if not mistaken, uh, in Chinese, wait, let me just read for a while. Yeah, this one is uh, pure copper. And the outer material, this one, really specially designed, you can see. Later, I'll be taking out and have a showcase for you guys. Uh, this one is uh, kind of an uh, aluminum alloy type of material, yeah. Let's see the design of it. It's very nice for the design, if you put it together. Yeah, you can see the brand. Oops, come on, focus. Yeah, you can see liquid links. Now, this one is the jack, okay. And this one is the cable coming up, so you can see the, the design is slightly different, okay. So this is it, and just to show you more on the uh, the internal jack itself, which is the main part of it, something like this. Yeah, very nicely done. Come on, focus. Yes, okay. So it's inserted to be something like this. Then you screw it back. Yeah, very nice design. Uh, I will show you through my computer screen of the look of this liquid links cable. Yeah, so the cable, I mean the jack is looks something like that. Very nice. You can see the shape of it. Yeah, it's the same. It comes in uh, black and silver color. Yeah, with the liquid on it. Oops, yeah, supposedly it should be like this. Yep, very nice, very, very nice. Okay, so let's come back. Okay, now we have finished talking for this uh, liquid links. So now let's move on to the, I guess it's the world's most expensive 4.4mm uh, 4, 4 millimeter audio jack. Okay, because with this price, actually, you can buy a very, very good pair of IEMs around 60 USD. Yeah? So to open this, uh, this one is still renew, didn't open before, okay. Yeah, everything is in Japan, you know, because it's made in Japan. 
So I guess opening here should be better, yeah. Okay. Okay, this looks very premium, you know, even the box itself is quite thick. Then later we'll be comparing it with the liquid links, yeah. Okay, inside got some... Okay, let's move the box away. I think this one is some warranty manual or something. Yeah. Ah, uh, no, just a note though. Yep. What unscrew and screw kind of thing, warning, you know, about this. Then it comes like this. They also provide you with the cable sleeve. The heat string cable sleeve. Let me just zoom in a bit. Yeah. This cable sleeve. Okay, let's zoom into the jack itself. Hmm, maybe it's due to the indoor lighting, so the video quality is not that good, yeah. Okay, so this one is the carbon fiber type of furu tag, yeah, you can see the furu tag here. It's embedded inside, yep. Very nice furu tag. So, let's see the inside, yeah. Okay, when it comes, it is not that tight, it's already loosened up and it's got kind of a red color kind of thing, maybe some seal or something. Yeah, this one is rhodium material, rather different material than the liquid links. You can see, it's, I think it's quite heavy though. Maybe it's heavier than the liquid links. Wait, I place it here first, so we can compare it. Then this one is the liquid links. The yellow, I mean the copper one. Yep. You can see the direct comparison is, I think it's the same though. Just that for the, wow, actually it's some big huge difference. For the Frutec one, this grounding uh, alloy part is larger and longer. Then for the shell, this one is liquid. And this one is the Frutec. Yep. Almost the same weight, I guess. Yep, almost the same weight. But the full one should be heavier because you can see this part is thicker and longer. Yeah. So that's it, guys. This uh, are the opening, unboxing, and a little bit of comparison of the liquid links and the, uh, you know, jack. Uh, I might be, you know, modifying uh, this. You know, Kotori carbon cable. This one is the eight core custom cable from Kotori, which I'm using now. By default, it comes with the uh, EAC for my Ford Jack. Uh, maybe I will be switching it to the not the Fru Tech, but using the Liquid Links one because this cable is quite good, but just the jack uh, doesn't look high end enough. Yep. So yeah, that's it today. Thank you and see you guys in a moment again. See you guys soon. Bye.